have graced us with a couple of words. Yes, the Reforged developers are talking to us in a developer's update that was released on May 19, so two days ago, on the official news Blizzard homepage. So, first of all, double thumbs up for Blizzard for doing something like this. This is something we wanted all along. This is something we wanted after the initial announcement of Reforged. This is something we wanted after the initial launch of Reforged. And this is something we finally get. So this is much, much appreciated. And I hope this is much more to come. The biggest news and takeaway from this is that we get a PTR with balance changes this week. As I speak, it's out. We'll do it in another video right after this. Apart from that, not many news and a lot of text. So I'm not going to read all of it. I'm going to summarize things. I'm, we're going to dissect things and I'm going to be a bit harsh. This is kind of what you all expect, I think. So before we go into the details, I want you to keep in mind that this is written by a PR professional, a guy that gets paid for doing exactly this post towards the community to appeal the community, to please the community. And they get paid for it. You know, this is their job. They are professionals. So I would be a little less harsh. I would be more understanding if, uh, let's say, in a super weird world, Pat is fucking up the W3 Champions ladder, right? And he wants to apologize for something or he wants to explain something. And then he makes a couple of mistakes when it comes to wording or misphrasing things. I would be totally forgiven. Here, I'm going to be a little harder. So please don't tell me, like, oh, you're too critical. What What's in this developer update is exactly what they mean. And I think behind several sentences is a meaning that they don't display directly. But maybe I am over analyzing things. But we'll go right into this. So please keep in mind, I, I'm happy that we get this. But I think it could be done better. Anyway, this is it. The Walker 3 developers update on news.blizzard.com. Nice artwork. Hail Walker 3 Reforged players. This first part here is a little infuriating. So expect me to rage a little. Hail Walker 3 Reforged players. It's been too long since we shared an update on our team's progress. app so fucking lootly After a challenging launch... Isn't the launch always challenging? Doesn't doesn't that go for anything? And who was that challenging for? For you? I think it was really challenging for everyone. Uh, and you made it challenging for the community. For people who pour their heart and soul into this game. Casting, organizing, content creating, or just even... You know, playing. So, this feels like they put themselves into a pity position. Oh, this was so hard for us. The poor Metacritic score, you know? This is the, also them saying that they fucked up. This is like the most critical they will ever be of themselves. I think. Just hidden behind phrasing. We've been regrouping. What does that mean? So that confirms that the Walker 3 or Forge team is not what it was before the launch, which is normal. We've heard a lot of rumors about Diablo 2 remastered and a couple of people will be working on that. So what does regrouping mean? Did people get fired? How many people are working in this group? How big is this group still? Let me remind you that a couple of weeks ago, on March 18, that is two months ago, they had to remind us that they even had a Warcraft 3 team. Right? Uh, sorry about that. There you go. They had to remind us about that. So, let us know. Who is the team? Listening to your feedback. So, while this is very good, is that true? I am not sure. Because we cannot be sure. Because you never replied to feedback. 
And this is really, really disheartening and demotivating. If people, content creators, people who are deeply involved into the scene, take their time and write five to eight pages of feedback, the, all that I heard that they got was, thanks, noted. And then they never hear from it again. So there must be somewhere in the archives of the Classics team, there must be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of feedback papers. And from my experience, every time a new player gets involved and you complain that, hey, this game is not what it's supposed to be, man, they have to step it up. The next step is, hey, they would want to hear your feedback. Can you write something down? And I'm really tired of writing things down for them. Because they must know. They got this plenty of times. Do you shredder all of it? Because it feels like you shredder all of the feedback you get. Please be more responsive to the feedback you get. Please make some kind of list like, yep, this is fucked up. This is what we're working on. This is why it's difficult. This is when you can expect it. Pro players, content creators, they are all sick and tired of feedbacking to Blizzard because they never follow up. So please improve that. Prioritizing the things we need to do for the game. So after the lunch, lounge <laughs> at lunch, they did the prioritizing of the things they need to do for the game. And what did they prioritize so far? Ladder? Nope. S arch like achievements? Something you can play for? Something that motivates you to play? Nope. The prio was Naga ears and a lot of footsteps. So your prio was shit! And I hope you got your prio right. And it seems like this developer's upgrade update is going into the right direction. So please... I'm sorry that I'm too critical, but yeah, if that, if the past four months uh, are an indicator, your prio is super off. Building a plan to deliver on our next step. Shouldn't you have a plan all along? Shouldn't you have a plan for how to launch the game and what to do after the game, especially when it's a multiplayer game like Walker 3 Reforged with a huge community or what was a huge community. So you tell me that after launch you were building a plan to what to do. That's either a lie or super amateurish. Well, we've been quite past the past few months. Hells yeah, you were. Know that there's a dedicated and passionate team that's been hard at work on Walker 3 Forge behind the scenes. Once again, this is exactly what they said two months ago. When they said, just a quick note to let everyone know we have a dedicated team here focusing on Warcraft. So, not only are they dedicated, the update is they are also passionate. So this regrouping means they kicked all the not passionate guys? We don't see that you are dedicated and passionate. We see your wrong prioritization. We see the lack of ladder, the lack of stability, the lack of servers. This is what we see. Don't tell us this and not back it up. Because in the past four months, you have not been backing this up. As our team works towards a roadmap, this is pretty much what I said here, like building a plan. The roadmap is the plan. Now, as our team works towards a roadmap, so there isn't even a roadmap, you are now picking the pieces together and build a roadmap from what is there and what you plan. That is way too late. Why is there no roadmap in the first place? Why is there no roadmap before release for what you do after release? This is a clear mistake in project management. 
There's no other explanation, is there? That is super weak. Maybe the problem is that we can't share. But why don't you share your roadmap with us? If you have one. We'd like to start communicating more frequently. Very good. And meaningfully, double very good about our plans and what's coming next for the game. So, there's stuff coming next for the game. That's also very good. It's not that. Hey, cool. In my opinion, you should put this at the very bottom. Or make this a lot shorter and show first what you do. And the phrasing and the wording of this entire part is very bad. Okay, let's go into the content. Ongoing updates, bugs and desync fix patches. Yeah, that was fun, was it? Hi, DreamHack Anaheim. Since launch, we delivered a series of patches and an ongoing effort to continue fixing bugs and making quality of life changes across Warcraft 3. Well, quality of life changes meaning that the game is functioning. Because I haven't seen any other quality of life changes, to be honest. They do this once a month. That's quite cool. Include fixes and improvements to art, gameplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, we've seen that. That's pretty okay. But that is absolutely necessary. This is just bringing a game out of beta. So don't pat yourselves on the back for fixing the shit that you released. Some of the most impactful bugs since Legacy Warcraft involve these things... Which occur when two or more players get out of sync? First of all... Do you guys remember getting your Frozen Throne games out of sync? Getting your Frozen Throne games crashing? Maybe in big FFAs, maybe in some custom maps? I don't remember this except using WAG TV back in the 2007s? 2008? Late 2000s. These desyncs that occurred happened because of your game, your coding, your graphics. Don't blame this on Legacy Warcraft. This is about your stuff that you released early 2020. They are continuing to work on this. And I think they did a good job. Like in the past weeks when we had to use uh, Reforge graphics and... Uh, next and in WGTL we had no desync so I think they're on a good way here and the major cause of this is gone which is very good so summed up for that once again the wording is infuriating we're also developing a tool that will better arm us against here to desync so I think this is for them internally like if they release something they get a tool that warns them or something I saw some posts saying that this could be a reconnect feature, which would be awesome. But then they should name it reconnect feature and not uh, encrypt it like this. So balance updates. This is something that I will go into in another video that solely focuses on this. This is the big news. I'm a bit late with this video. So by now the PTR with the balance updates is out and most of it is good. I was really worried that they, uh, because of this wording here, we will feature a bevy of updates. I was worried that they do a big patch like in 1.30 when they change pretty much the entire game. Uh, this is not the case. So my big fear of them doing too much was unjustified. And it's very cool to have a PTR. I didn't check that yet if there's a European PTR because if not, Europeans have a hard time to test it, but in general these balance updates are good. Upcoming features. This is uh, this is a good one. <laughs> so, yada yada yada, we fix the bugs. We're also working to deliver features to the game. Note that this is not saying we're also working to deliver new features to the game. This is just features that were there before that they still didn't implement. Matchmaking, ladder, profiles, campaigns, clans. All that Frozen Throne had 16, 18 years ago. So all of this is in development. They will start sharing details on this. Um, yeah, but this is not talking about something new. This is not showing us anything. This is not something that tells us, hey, 
after we fix the mess that is reforged, here is what you can look forward to. And still, it is infuriating and to me unexplainable how a guy in a small team that does this for pretty much free except community contributions can do way more in W3 Champions than a company, a billion dollar company with a paid staff. So the ladder, W3 Champions, is already there. It's really, really, really good and keeps on improving every single week. FFA is coming to that. So this is still mind-boggling. And I would love to hear an explanation for this. Because we're four months into Reforged and we still have no reason to play. Really. This paragraph here is pretty much explaining MMR, matchmaking ranking. All of this long part. So we skip that. They will improve on it or something. Um, there's nothing interesting in, except that, hey, we got a per race MMR. Yee hey, we're so awesome. Pat yourselves on the back for that. Um, yeah. Global matchmaking, they're focusing on that here a little. So, they still want to keep it. They are aware that at the moment it's shit. The team has begun rolling out a series of server updates which have reduced the number of highlighted games by over 60% in the week of May 4th. Okay, you might be, uh, you might be onto something here, but on the other side, the CIS region is lagging hard right now, thanks to the patches that you applied a week ago. Also, I can tell you what helps against high latency games. More freaking servers! The ones that we sent you in 2018, a list of servers that needs to be done. Because at the moment we have three servers in the world, US West, Europe, so Korea. So. If a European is playing a Korean, he's playing on either Europe or Korean, uh, or the Korean server. So it sucks for one of the players. It will always suck for one of the players. There's no other way. You have to have a server in between to make it fair. And the more servers you have, the more options there are, and the better the ping is for the world. It is not expensive. It is not that hard. Give us more servers god damn it otherwise we have to do host bots again otherwise we have to do virtual land with hamachi do you want that do you want to throw us back to the 2008s i don't think so take a little bit of money build a couple of servers please there is no other way to fix global matchmaking So, the rest says pretty much nothing. Um, matchmaking is getting better, kind of. There will still be AT versus RT. In FFA, um, they will still like, at the, like somehow reward the second player, which should be an issue because you can hide buildings and prolong games, and this is kind of bad. So, this is supposed to be changed, uh, judging from the FFA community, I think. And that's pretty much it. That's the content. We're excited to continue rolling out these matchmaking improvements and moving forward. So the next patch uh, is probably going to have that. Ongoing communication. Very good. Please use your social media. Please keep these going. Please respond to the forums. The more, the better. The more you communicate. And the more of that communication is actually true. Because we've been lied to on a regular basis from before release the more we can trust you again and the more we put away our pitchforks. We don't want to be mad. We want to work with you, but you made it so hard. So please, it's all up to you guys in Irvine or wherever you're working from. Deliver. Regain your trust. This is the first step that I appreciate a lot. There's still a lot of mistakes in there. 
but at least it's a first step. And I think this is what we can uh, take away from this. They seem to learn that rebuilding Frozen Throne is the number one uh, priority, that stability is the number one con uh, thing. So these two are the number one things. Sounds weird. You know what I mean? So there's going to be another deep dive in the future focused on rank ladder. So that is supposed to come next, most likely. Um, the roadmap will be very interesting as to how long they have a plan. How long do they plan on developing and improving this? And when will we ever have the final features that we were promised? And can we expect more? Something that we were hoping for when Reforge was announced. Skins. Uh, like doing keys in game and stuff, you know? Yeah, that's my takeaway. 21 minutes. Holy shit. That was longer than expected. Um, okay, that's my take on the Reforge developers update. You can find the link to this in the description. Uh, you can find me, of course, on all socials. And I will follow this up with my takeaway on the PTR balance. So hope you enjoyed this. Sorry for this being so long. Um, and we will see each other on a different news. Hit subscribe, ring the bell, and we will update you about all the important news in the Warcraft 3 world. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.